Hello there ladies and gentlemen, I'm the CHALL and welcome to another Doncaster Rovers match report. It's the final day of the 2022-2023 season. Walsall with just one win in 2023, taking on a Doncaster Rovers side who picked up five points in the last 30. Danny Schofield, who will be the head coach next season, will look to build on a mid-table finish. It's been a bit of an inconsistent struggle for in League 2 this season for Doncaster Rovers in their first time back in League 2 in five years. However, with Walsall looking to build under their new manager next season, and Dogster Rovers wanting to build and progress under Danny Schofield, it's looking like potential progressive seasons next season for both clubs. Today, however, it's about finishing and raising the curtain on another season. So let's get inside the Bescott Stadium as Walsall take on Dogster Rovers in Skybet League 2 action. So it wouldn't be an away day without a mascot prediction. Hey, Swifty, give us your prediction. 1-0 to Walsall. <laughs> So we have the official lineups for Walsall against Dogster Rovers. We're going to start off with the home team, Walsall Football Club, and it's looking like this. In goal, number 12, Jackson Smith. In the back line is going to be number 18, Captain Oyston McEntee. Number 24, Joe Lowe. Number 6, Emmanuel Monthe. At wing-back roles, number 3, Liam Gordon. And number 10, Tom Knowles. Number 7, Joe Riley. Number 14, Brandon Conley in the midfield with number 23, Isaac Hutchinson. And up front will be number 20, Matthew Stevens. And number 9, Connor Wilkinson. On the bench, number 35, George Barrett. Number 5, Donovan Daniels. Number 25, Ronan Mayer. Number 8, Liam Kinsella. Number 15, Douglas James Taylor. Number 19, Jimmy Matt. Number 33, Marvellous Honor Buchanan. Now then, for Dunkster Rovers Football Club, we start like this. Number 13, Lewis Jones in goal for the second game in a row. In the back three is number 10, Tommy Rowe as captain. Number 15, Adam Long in the centre of the back three. And number 28, Bobby Faulkner on the right-hand side. On the wing-back rolls, number 29, Jack DeGrucci for his first senior start of the season. Number 19, Charlie Seaman. In the midfield, number 24, Zane Westbrook. And number 14, Harrison Biggins. On the attacking midfield positions, it's number 16, Aidan Barlow, and number 21, Kyle Hurst, and up front, on his own, number 20, Todd Miller. In the Rovers bench, number 1, Jonathan Mitchell, number 5, Joseph Olawu, number 3, James Maxwell, number 35, Jack Goodman, and number 30, Tavonga Kulaya. So, only five subs for Doncaster Rovers in this particular match. However, Olawu and Maxwell return to the bench, which is great to see after their injuries. Obviously, for Walsall, uh, some decent players in that bench, Matthew in that starting lineup and the bench as well. Matthew Stevens coming back from injury. Of course, Jamil Matt's on the bench as well. Uh, and obviously, Connor Wilkinson is in that squad as well. So, overall, Walsall, pretty strong starting lineup. They're going to build next season under which manager we do not know as of yet. Obviously, the big rumour is Kevin Phillips. It's going to be interesting to see how Kevin Phillips does with this Walsall team if he's indeed the manager next season. So, let's get inside the Best Scott Stadium as Walsall takes on Dunkster Rovers. <laughs> Donny Rovers are going to win 4-1. I'm feeling lucky today. He put a one-pound bet on and win £3.90. Nice. I think Donny are going to win 1-0. Birthday today. What's the prediction, Ethan? 3-0 Rovers. 3-0 Rovers. I think it's 5-0. 5 0 Happy birthday, Ethan. So, ladies and gentlemen, we're about to kick off the last game of the season. Walsall vs. Dunster Rovers. We are ready. He's one of our own. He's one of our own! Louis Jones! He's one of our own! He broke the chicken! <laughs> it's been one minute. Oh, we're the Reds! Go Martini! When the Reds go Martini! What's on the front foot here? That's a good ball through. People want to know! Good effort, good effort. 
ball in from Walsall. Dealt with by the Gritchie. Already it feels like Siemens out wide, but it feels like the Gruchy's very narrow. He's very magnetic to the uh, to Faulkner. Um, De Gruchy's right wing back, so De Gruchy should be magnetised to Bobby Faulkner, who should be out on the out on the right hand side. The backing away and letting him go through. Ball inside. <laughs> The defence was just magnetic to their positions and didn't even bother closing any gaps. We didn't close any of the gaps, we just stayed, we stuck to our positions and didn't close any of the gaps when that shot came in. Get stuck in! Get into him! Yes, the shot went wide. Yes, the shot went wide, but take it as a warning. Take that as a warning shot. We were magnetic to our positions and didn't close the gap. Charlie Ball in, head on! Ah, oh, straight to hand for deeper. Congested in the penalty area, ball comes in. Tipped away by Lewis Jones. That's it, Jack! Again, Todd should be... Todd, i tell you what, Todd should be sprinting for that. The, talk, the touch was poor from Todd, but he should be sprinting for that. He was jogging for that. Forward air chance! Oh! Doesn't matter if I, we're for the road is going. Again, it's all about patient build up play here for Walsall. They go route one, but Bobby's there to head it clear. Come on, Rovers! Sense of urgency now! Splitting pass, get it back! Oh! Good interception there, here's Carl Hurst! Hurst! Oh! That's why they're going to hit us. Rovers throw. Everything on paper points to a nil-nil draw, but you'd like to see a goal out of this game. That's a good ball from Adam. Here's Carl Harris, ball in. Oh, who's there? Who's there? Nobody at Pops again. Yeah. Not enough bodies in the box and no one's there. Free kick Rovers. Small inside, ball in. Oh! Oh, oh, oh. There we go. And, and the first half, Donny Rovers nil, Walsall nil. Oh no! One nil! And that's the season! Camped out in the box. Easy shot. Walsall again, inside! Push it! And that explains our finish in this season. Absolutely poor. We could use our hands to score, we still wouldn't. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? What was that for a flick on? That's how close we are to the fire raft. I'm going into hiding for the next three months. I'll see you next season. Oh, oh, oh. Across. Oh my god. That's a decent shot. That's a decent shot. Liam has been good down this uh, down the wing back role. I think Liam's been all right. I think Liam's done good for us, so done really good. It's gonna be mid. It's gonna be bottom half. It's gonna be our lowest finish in 20 years. It's gonna be mid table, and the recruitment team has to get back to the drawing board this summer. The recruitment team has to get back to the drawing board with Danny Schofield. Back to the training ground. Back to the drawing board. Let's get to the summer and have a pint. We got a goal back, but also had the better second half. That's the end of our season! That's the end of the 2022-2023 season! We end it with defeat! We end the season on defeat! We end the season on the defeat!
Lowest finish in 20 years. That's it. Season's done. So we are back on the supporters coach. This is it, the final clip of the season. Um, there's been some highs, individual ones, uh, remarkably, but um, some lows. Mid-table, lowest finish in 20 years, negative goal difference, more losses than wins. We'll be here no matter what, week in, week out, giving the club everything needed. Please do like, comment, subscribe. We're going to be back with the videos in the summer. I am the C-H-A-L-L. Ta-ra for now. I'll see you next season.